Hey everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're going to talk about Quixel and their acquisition by Epic Games. Now, what does this mean? Well, in, in case you haven't uh, heard or have been living under a rock, the biggest piece of news that landed a few uh, weeks was that Quixel got acquired by Epic Games. So, by doing this, Quixel basically made their entire library free for any Epic game or any Unreal Engine users. So what does this mean for us? Well, if you're doing any types of visualizations with Unreal, this is a huge thing for us. So how does it work? Well, quite easy and quite simple, to be honest. All you have to do is go over to Quixel. So when you get over here, your screen is going to look something like this or sim similar depending on when you're uh, here. So what you want to do first is you want to go ahead and sign in. So click on sign in. It will ask for your email and password. But you want what you want to do here is you actually want to sign in with your Epic Games account. So just click on it. And this takes into account that you're actually logged into your Epic Games launcher. So by just clicking here, it will do the completion of the login. And now you're actually logged in. So what you want to do next is you want to download the bridge. So go into products and scroll down to bridge. There we go. So download bridge and install it. Now, since I've already downloaded it, I don't have to download it, but this is all you have to do is just press download and this will start up Bridge. Now, once we have Bridge start up, we'll continue over from there. Actually, before we start off with Bridge, I want to show you another way that you can acquire some free assets uh, due to the acquisition of Quixel. Namely, if you come over to the marketplace in your Epic Games launcher, and in the search products, you just type in mega scans. You will get an entire list of free assets. Now, these include actual assets as FBX files. Uh, they include different materials and they are very, very high quality photo scanned items. So all of these you can download once put them in your cart, put them in your library of items, and they will be yours forever. And you can choose which uh, of these you like, and you can migrate them individually into whatever project you're working on. So this is a good thing to know, especially if you just want to take a particular pack from here, you can do it that way. But again, if you want to, this is one option, but I would strongly recommend using Bridge. So let's see how Bridge does this. So here we are inside Quixel Bridge. This is a 2019 5.0 version, which is the latest version at the time of the uh, recording of this video. So if you're watching this a bit later on, it might look a bit different, but the functionality should be the same. So what do we do once we are actually inside Quixel Bridge? The first thing you want to do is you want to link your account or your Epic account to Quixel Bridge. So all you have to do is go over in this corner where you have this uh, icon, click on it, and there you will find a button that says login with Unreal or uh, your Epic account. Once you do that, you will get a mail. You have to accept it. And as soon as you do that, you will be logged in into Bridge and you are ready to start using it. So how does it work? Well, actually quite simple. On this side over here, you have categories. And as you can see by the number indicated over here, we have 11,108 possible materials that you can choose from. And all of these, since we're using Unreal, are going to be 100% free. Now, over here you have acquired and downloaded. So in the acquired, these are some items that I've actually uh, just 
gotten to test it out and over here you have all of the categories and all of the different materials so how do we actually take these materials and bring them into unreal well that's simple you need to take any of these materials that you want to use for example i'm going to use one of my acquired materials for example let's say these marble tiles now once you select on them the first thing you want to do is you want to go over into the download settings now here you can choose what is the texture resolution you want to take so you have 2k 4k and 8k for me i just took the 4k and you need to choose what is the material preset now if you're going to use uh, unreal you can take this and if you want to use maybe 3ds max for your work you can choose some of the specular workflow here offline specular so if you choose any of these it's going to download different uh, maps but for now i'm going to keep it to unreal and click download that will do it and it will locally keep your material now comes the next part this is the export settings now when you hit this you have texture resolution and this is the resolution you want to send to unreal now since i already downloaded the 4k i'm going to keep it to 4k texture format you can choose a jpeg exr png whatever you want i'm going to keep it for jpeg for now and now here is the important thing it, it is going to ask you where you want to export so it's either going to be unreal engine 3ds max maya unity blender now since we're doing this so we can test it out with our unreal engine i'm going to choose unreal very very important thing make sure you choose the right engine version if you screw this up you might actually uh, run on, uh, run into some problems at the moment of recording of this video the latest version is 424.1 now uh, here we're just going to choose 424 and the installation folder so click over here then choose where you have your unreal engine installed in this case the ue424 you go over here click on engine and binaries actually just go down to plugins and that's it just click select a folder and you're done once you do that what you're going to get is a small text uh, in here in this corner and it's going to tell you that the latest version of the plugin has already been installed so how do we check if this thing is installed in order to do that we need to start up unreal so let's just do that so here we are inside unreal i have this scene open that's already been uh done the whole thing and now since we we are trying to see if mega scan is going to work the easiest way to see if you've done everything right up until this point is just simply take a gander over here if you can see this green mega scan button it it applies that you've actually done everything right and the link will the with the bridge works now what do we do from here how does it work well i'm going to go open up bridge again now with this export settings next thing i want to ch choose is where my location is uh for this project now since i know i've already selected this project so i'm going to click over here it will find the project wherever I've uh, placed it. I won't, I'm inside the content folder. I just uh, select on select folder. And since I've set everything up so far, I'm just going to click on export. Now, export to Unreal, uh, export it successfully. So I'm just going to bring down bridge. And as soon as I shift over to Unreal, I can see that this thing is doing something and it gave me a message and now on the left side in the content here i'm going to find a not a new folder that quixel is going to create or the bridge is going to create inside that folder it will put everything that we got from uh, bridge 
and that is going to be the material that I just chose to import. Just give it a few seconds. Since, again, these are 4K texture resolutions, it can take a bit time, a bit of more time to uh, get it imported. But as soon as it's in here, there we go. We got this folder called Megascans. Inside we got surfaces and the name of the marble floor. So, now, what do we need to do in order to use it? Well, it's as simple as a simple click and drag or drag and drop. So I'm going to take this, put it in the materials section and right away I can see that this thing works like a charm. Now, what can I change here? Well, if I double click on this material, I can check all of the options that are available here. So first of all, I can see that I have this nifty tiling option. So by just changing this, let's try to something like five. There we go. Right away, the entire outlook of this entire room changed by just changing the floor. It's giving it a whole different vibe. Now, what else can we change here? Well, let's change some of the roughness. For now, if I take a look at the scene, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it to a full screen so we can see it better. There we go. So if I go ahead and change the roughness to maybe something like 0.5, you can see that now this thing starts to get a bit of a more reflective look. If I go even lower, like 0.2, now this looks like a polished tile. And the lower we go, the more polished it gets. Something like this. All right, so what else? Well, we can change the color of it. Maybe we don't like it this way. Maybe we want to add just a bit of a color. Put on the albedo. Let's go with a more bluish color, maybe. Nothing changed, but that is because we haven't uh, changed the tint intensity. So put it to 0 0.1. Boom, there we go. We just got blue tiles in our entire room without changing anything else. Uh, we can also change the normal intensity. For example, if you want to have these tiles pop out a bit more so we can see the seams even more, we can go ahead and maybe increase this thing. Let's write to five. There we go. Five gives, gives us a much more rough look. And it kind of looks like tiles that you would use for an exterior to for your scene. So let's see what else we can do here. Let's uh, jump back to Quixel Bridge. So now from here, I want to get this poplar veneer material you can find it in the wood section over here since i've already downloaded i can just do the same thing so export settings 4k jpeg i'm gonna leave everything in i'm gonna hit export now while this thing is being exported to unreal i'm gonna go ahead and actually download one of these categories or find something that we haven't or i haven't downloaded so you can see how it's done so over here i'm gonna go into the walls scroll down and Ooh, this thing moldy plaster wall all right go to download settings choose what texture you want we want to use it for unreal 4 hit on download it will take a few seconds or a few minutes depending on your internet connection you can see the projection or <laughs> the progress bar going over here as soon as it's up to 100 percent we can export it. Let's just check and see how well our export is going so far. All right, so we already have the poplar veneer here. So what we can do here is come over to this table, jump in, put it in here. And there we go. We can see that the table changed. We get closer, we can see that this is a high quality texture. Now, if we do this same thing to the chair and put it in, we get the same texture. Now, here is a problem. This seam for at the moment, or this poplar veneer, the grain size looks kind of okay for this chair, but kind of too big for this one. So in order to fix this, we would have to make an instance of this material. So right click, create an instance, 
call it poplar O2 and just get this uh, second instance applied to the table. So get it over here, double click on it, increase the tiling to maybe let's say something like five or three. And there we go. Now it looks much better suited for this uh, table. If you don't like the green or how it looks like, what you can do is always offset this thing like this so you can move it around or you can offset it on the V and just move it this way. Whatever works for you so you get the best possible results. So now we have the same material but two instances and over here they both look just right for, at least for the size of this table. So let's go and check out what happened with our download. All right, Moly Plaster Wall download done. Export settings, not changing anything. Everything is already preset. Just export and let's see how this thing is going to look into our uh, project over here. We'll give it a few more seconds to finish the import. And as soon as it's finished, it should appear here as a new surface. There we go. So we have Molder Plaster Wall. Right, select the walls and come to it and change the materials all right there we go works just right for that one apply it to all the different walls we want to use like this and i might even go in here let's check the tiling try to five there we go i have to test it out as well because i have never tried this material before but as you can see even though i've never tried this material before and this is the first time i'm basically testing it out it's very very simple to see how this thing works you just basically drag and drop until you get something that you like and the greatest thing about this is that once you get really close to it all the details hold like this is a very very high quality photo scanned material so this ends up giving you an amazing look to your projects and it doesn't cost you anything that means you don't have to pay for it and you don't have to spend a lot of time creating all of these awesome, amazing looking materials. So that is the power of using Quixel and the Quixel bridge to use for your projects in Unreal to get the best photorealistic results. Now, before we finish, I just want to add one more important thing. When you're using Quixel Bridge to basically get any texture that you like or any material that you like, there is another thing you can get. For example, if you go over here and search for any uh, search for anything, just type in 3D. You're gonna see that in here you have a plethora of different photo scanned assets, so you can take any of these assets and use them in your scene. As you can see, these are very high quality assets. And if you take any of these so you can use them, you will basically get photorealism right out of the box. And when you download for it, as you can see, all of these have very, very good UVs and topology. And also they have different LODs or level of details and a high poly source. What this means is that these, these models are very well optimized in your scene. So when the camera is really close to them, they appear to be much more denser in geometry. And as the camera goes away, basically the low LODs kick in and you start seeing less and less geometry, but the quality stays the same. So keep in mind that when you're doing your scenes, if you want to basically populate them with some interesting material, uh, some interesting objects or models that are photo scanned and photorealistic, you can just get over here, grab whatever you want and just download 
and merge it into your Unreal uh, project. So there you go. That's another thing to keep an eye out.